Hello everyone, I'm j o n g c h e l Today's topic is a DNS server using bind on CentOS 6.4. For this topic, I prepared the data five part. Part one will focus on essential the DNS functions one with the four chapters. Part two as well, essential DNS functions two with the four chapters. Part three, advanced DNS functions with the four chapters as well and the part 4 DNS security with the four chapters and the part 5 will be the DNS bind GUI tools chapter 1 DNS service DNS server itself normally calls the just the domain name the system and the domain name systems the role The main the role is to resolve the host name into IP address. We call this one the forward lookup. Name, for example, like a domain name, www.chal.com like this. This one will be resolved to IP address. For example, 192.168.85 like this. And the IP normally the uh, computer friendly and the name the human being friendly. And uh, also DNS reserve IP address into host name. We call this one the reverse lookup. For example, IP address to name. Also DNS allow machines to be logically grouped by name the domain. Also DNS provide the email routing information as well. In the DNS service, there are many kinds of terms we have to know. Here, there are three kinds, the joins, domains, and delegation. Domain means Conflict subtree of the high record namespaces, normally go just on namespace. And a join is the part of the domain managed by the particular server. So in the server, normally we call domain is a join. And the subdomains that may be the delegated into additional joins. So if we have the one join, then this join can create the subdomains and each subdomains can be delegated by the main the name servers number three name server types so master name server can be as the primary this will normally contain the master copy of data for john so normally the master name server the surprised all information for the specific johns Slave name server can be the secondary, provide the backup to the master name server. And all slave server maintain the synchronizations the, with the, their master name server. So, uh, uh, see the caching only name server. And the uh, caching only name server, normally the forward the queries and the cache is the result. So, the caching only name server does not have the information about the copy of data for a John and the provide the internet root server hint and the this kind of hint normally the same this file named that CA and the, if we want to the set up the caching only name server in this case you can use etc.com and here just include name server localhost IP address number four DNS hardware So DNS has this kind of the hierarchy first. In the top of the hierarchy, there is a root. And normally, just it can be expressed as a dot. And the first level has this kind of the keyword, the com, edu, god, gov, ent, the mil, onenet, org, like this. Also here, there is a country, the name for example like uh, kr or uk or kh like this and uh, below the the first level there is a second level domain for example like uh, microsoft or linux like this so this kind of is uh, the name of the exact domain name And the exact domain name has their own the subdomain. For example, like a www or example or FTP mail. There are so many. And each host use 
the individual machine we call just the host and the, normally this kind of host use the dns server to find the, this kind of the dns hierarchy number five dns name resolution process now we are using this host with the local the dns server if this host requests some domain name to this local dns server local dns server try to find this the DNS information, if this uh, local DNS server does not have exact information about the domain, the client request, then first query to the root name server. And the root name server does not have information, just uh, reply to local DNS server with information about only .com name server. And then the local DNS server will query to the .com name server. This one also does not have information, exact information about the domain name, example .com. Then just will reply with information about the DNS server of example .com. Then this one will the query also. And this one also does not have information about the beta example .com. So this one also only the reply the DNS sub of the beta example.com. Then this one if, uh, query to the DNS sub of beta example.com. This DNS sub will reply to the local DNS sub with exact information. Then this uh, local DNS sub will reply to client. This is the DNS name resolution the process. Chapter 2, the DNS sub software. There are many kinds of software to support the DNS service. Especially this kind of things is open source software. Bind PADNS, DNS, masquerading, DJV DNS, Power DNS, Mara DNS, NSD, Mind, there are so many. In this video, I will focus on only the bind because this is a standard DNS server and the free software product is this one normally distributed with the almost the Unix and Linux platform. So if you install Linux or Unix platform as open source, then you will find this software. And the others, if you are interested with the other software, you can test this kind of software as well for your DNS server. Terms. DNS has many kinds of terms. First, authoritative server. Authoritative server means DNS server host primary and the secondary server with copy of eject zone data. Non-authoritative server, this one does not contain copies of any domain but only have the cache file. And this cache file is constructed from all DNS lookup performed in the past. FQDM means the fully qualified domain, for example, www.microsoft.com, like this. And the iterative queries, the, this one made by the only the client to DNS server for authoritative answer. This one from authoritative the servers. This one can be provided the server without the generating the other additional server side queries to other DNS server. But the recursive query made by the either client or DNS server on behalf of the client. And the response to which can be authoritative answer, for example, like, like this, or referral to another server if this the, our the local DNS does not have the exact information. C name is uh, used to the create the aliases, and the aliases means a kind of other or the other name. And the address A means the domain name with the IP address. PTR means the pointer. This one is uh, provide data for reverse DNS. So normally this one, IP address with domain name. And the NS means, NS means the name servers. Mail server means the MX, mail exchange. And the TXT means text. And the, this one normally the used for any kinds of the documentation. SOA means the, the start of authority. Normally this one is the first record in the JOM file to contain name of the primary name server. So in this file, in this record, you have to the, decide which one 
is the primary name sub for this domain like this. Serial numbers, the two, this is a number to increment when the any resource rack in the John file, especially in the master name sub to update. And the normally slave, uh, slave or the secondary server will check that this serial number to decide the update or not. Refresh indicate the time when the slave will try to refresh the job from master. So politically, normally the slave name server will access the master name server to check the update, there is update or not using this refresh time. Retry, define the time between the retrieves, the, if the slave or secondary fails to contact the master name server. In this case, the nevertheless of the refresh, normally the slave name server will use only retry time. Expire, indicate when the John data is no longer authoritative. So even if the slave name server try to access the main the master name server using the retry but no answer from the master name in this case the, the slave name server decide to expire all john data from master name server minimum refine the value to be the negative caching time ttl means the time to leave this one means that defines the duration in second the record may be cache Chapter 4, find installation. If we want to set up the DNS server using bind, you need this kind of the packages, bind utils, bind library, bind the search root development. If you don't have this kind of packages to use install using this kind of command, you install the package name. And after that, the service start and the process checking, port number checking. Normally, the DNS use port number 53. If you want to check your names of starting the owner using the log file, then use this command tail hyphen f via log messages. And after that, you if you want to register this service to the the each runnable, then you can use this kind of command. Okay, then let's go back to names over here. Let's try to test first one. Let's check the package. So here, bind DVL, the bind library, bind the utils, bind and bind the search root. The other package can be optional. Okay, then try to start service named start. Okay, so in my case, I already learning. So in this case, service named restart. Okay, now the, my names were started. So here, let's check the process named. So here, I found the named. Uh, and after that, let's check. Okay, so it's the 53. Okay, in my case, now the, I can find the 53 for the number like this. Okay, and after that, let's check the log file messages. So if you are successful to start the name server, normally in the, this file, in the log file here, you can find this kind of the messages for example here John you can find it's a John as well so this is a John John now just and I have only local host John later we will add the other John for example like a char.com or jung.com like this okay I check the the name server register in the level I don't know uh, the logo file okay then Okay, compy. So now the 
name server done in the level 2, 3, 4, 5 already registered and activated in the voting time. Okay, so far I show you how to start the name server using bind. Okay. In the part two, I will the, explain the chapter five, creating joins and adding more joins, DNS load sharing and master and slave name server. See you part two.